At the end of time, Time Trapper looks at the legion of superheroes and feels frustrated. He tried to make them forget about Superman, but it didn't work. Surrounded by cockroaches, he tries to come up with a new plan to get rid of the legion. In his latest attempt, Time Trapper grabs a lost boy from another time and throws him into the 31st century. He boldly declares that the Legion's days are numbered, determined to find a way to end their existence. In Smallville, two unfriendly farmers, June and Mara, watch the trial of Earthman on TV. He's found guilty of many crimes and sent to a place called Takron Galtos. But this doesn't stop the fights between humans and aliens. One day, June and Mara spot something crashing in their fields, they grab a shotgun, thinking it's an alien. To their surprise, it's Superboy Prime, who insists he's Superman. In a moment, he uses heat vision to deal with them, claiming his name is Superman. Superboy Prime finds himself in the future Smallville and discovers the Superman Museum. Inside, a hologram of Jimmy Olsen guides him through exhibits about Superman's huge legacy. There are displays about the Legion of Superheroes and the United Planets, all inspired by Superman. But Superboy Prime gets furious when he sees there's no exhibit about himself, and he's remembered as a failure. In his anger, Superboy Prime wrecks the statues of all the heroes and clashes with the science police, who try to stop him. He vows to destroy everything Superman inspired. The Olsen hologram, thinking he's asking about enemies, mentions the legion of supervillains. In Metropolis, Earth leaders talk to the United Planets about maybe leaving or being forced out. Cosmic Boy, Lightning Lad, and Saturn Girl represent Earth. The council members say the Legion is old-fashioned and not needed anymore in the United Planets. Lightning Lass, Phantom Girl, and Shadow Lass go into the Phantom Zone to save Monel. They fight the Phantom Zoners and almost free General Zod. But Lightning Lass breaks the Phantom Zone projector. Brainiac 5 scolds her for not just turning it off. They give Monel anti-lead serum, and Sunboy is suggested to power him up quickly. However, Sunboy is upset from being tortured by Earthman and thinks about leaving the Legion. Polar Boy tries to convince him otherwise. Karate Kid Nor 2 goes against the Legion, claiming there's too much fighting among different races. Lightning Lad gets mad, reminding the Council of how many times the Legion saved the universe. RJ Brandy steps in, returning to support the Legion. Meanwhile, Superboy Prime goes to Takron Galtos to free Cosmic King, Lightning Lord, and Saturn Queen. They see him as a legend, saying he inspired them, and they believe he'll lead them to victory. RJ Brande explains that the Legionnaires are more than just young superheroes. They taught even Superman about truth, justice, and the American way. The Legion stands for diversity and tolerance in a universe filled with chaos and xenophobia. Suddenly, Leland Macaulay shoots Brandy several times, and Cosmic Boy can't stop him as the gun and bullets aren't made of metal. Dr. Gimmel tries to help Brandy, who urges the Legion to never give up before he dies. Branda reveals his Durlan form, and Macaulay claims he was a fake and an alien invader. The science police arrive, asking for the Legion's rings for questioning in the murder. Cosmic Boy, overtakes, uses his powers to push them away. As Macaulay gloats, he rapidly ages and turns to dust because of the Time Trapper's intervention. Chameleon Girl and Colossal Boy watch riots on Durla, but can't find Chameleon Boy. Invisible Kid, Night Girl, and Shrinking Violet are told to leave Naltor, and Dream Girl is missing. Ultra Boy and Timber Wolf return from fighting the Kuns. Many Legionnaires are missing including Block, Bouncing Boy, Dawnstar, Duo Damsel, Element Lad, Matter Eater Lad, Quizlet, Sensor Girl, Telus, Tyrock, White Witch, and Wildfire. A small funeral is held for RJ Branda on Earth, and the Legion talks about what's next for them. Superman gets a call from the future using his special flight ring. The Legionnaires inform him that over 20,000 people were killed on Takron Galtos, and Superboy Prime's S logo was burned into the surface. They show Superman the news, and he recognizes the threat instantly. The Legion realizes they're facing a big danger, a new legion of supervillains, and the force behind Macaulay's attack on Branda. Brainiac 5 suggests bringing in allies from alternate universes, like the second and third legion they've teamed up with before. Superman stresses how serious Superboy Prime is, but he believes their best shot is trying to redeem him morally. Shikari leads the second legion through limbo, sensing a path to freedom. Meanwhile, White Witch is chained up on Sorcerer's World. She has visions of her alternate universe, Relative Dreamer and Shikari. 
Dreamer, in turn, sees the Third Legion and the memorial of their dream girl. In her visions, White Witch also witnesses Superboy Prime creating Legion flight rings with his heat vision, marked with an S. The Time Trapper briefly appears, stopping White Witch from tapping into her sister's visions, claiming not to interfere with tomorrow. Block, Dawnstar, and Wildfire arrive to rescue White Witch. She warns them about seeing Legions dying and a new Legion rising. Rond Vidar battles Mordru, and the Legionnaires join in to help. White Witch swears to make Mordru pay, even if it means exploring into the Black Arts. Mordru summons skeletons of those he's tortured, including Dragon Mage, Avilo, and Glorith. Dawnstar tries to find an escape route but discovers all pathways are cut off. Just as things get intense, Superboy Prime arrives with his new legion of supervillains. They invite him to join, and Superboy Prime promises to show them Legionnaires dying in new ways. In Legion headquarters, Lightning Lad and Superman disagree about whether Superboy Prime can be saved. Shrinking Violet, Timberwolf, and Lightning Lad talk about breaking the Legion code to kill him if necessary. However, Cosmic Boy, Lightning Lass, and Polar Boy firmly reject the idea, refusing to consider it as an option. Rond Vidar puts up an energy barrier to shield the other Legionnaires, but it quickly drains his power ring. White Witch manages to open a portal home just in time. Ron Vidar decides to stay behind to hold off the villains, urging everyone else to go through the portal. Unfortunately, Perswater slices through Ron Vidar's barrier with his atomic axe. Prime expresses his hatred for Green Lanterns to Rond. In the Legion headquarters, the Legionnaires are arguing more and more. Lightning Lad gets upset with Cosmic Boy for always being the leader. Cosmic Boy, in his frustration, throws Lightning Lad back, revealing that he takes the leadership role so Lightning Lad and Saturn Girl can have a life together. Cosmic Boy has sacrificed his own relationships for the sake of his friends. Bloke, Dawnstar, and Wildfire arrive, trying desperately to open another portal to save Rond. Unfortunately, White Witch is not strong enough, and what they're doing doesn't seem to help. Rond Vidar fights bravely, but the Legion of Supervillains overtakes him. Saturn Queen uses her telepathic powers to bring him to his knees. Prime is ready to finish him off, but Saturn Queen insists on giving Ron's father, Universo, a chance to speak. Universo, however, only cares about getting Ron's power ring. Ignoring Universo's request, Prime snaps Ron Vidar's neck, and White Witch feels the pain back on Earth. Ron's lifeless body is thrown to the surface. Universo wishes Ron had joined him and he hopes Ron's son will fare better. The Power Ring flies into space in search of a new sentient being, escaping Universo's reach. Mordru attacks Prime for letting White Witch escape, but Prime laughs it off. Cosmic King and Lightning Lord propose a deal to Mordru. If he joins the Legion of Supervillains, they promise to wipe out the Legion of Superheroes, leaving White Witch for him. The Legion of Supervillains forms a temporary alliance with rival groups like the Fatal Five and the Justice League united by their common goal. On Earth, Dawnstar senses that the Legion of Supervillains is heading their way. The Legion is missing a dozen members, but Brainiac 5 pulls out his lightning rod, revealing they have backup plans. He's determined to show the universe how smart he is. The Power Ring can't find a new host and returns to Oa, powering down. A lone figure picks it up and places it in a pile of unused rings. This figure thinks about missing friends like Mogo, Brainiac 5 takes Phantom Girl and White Witch to the secret sanctuary in Happy Harbor, Rhode Island. It's the hidden base of the original Justice League. They grab the crystal ball from the Crisis on Earth-1, a sphere connecting all Earths from parallel universes. Brainiac believes it can help them contact other worlds. Brainiac sends Dawnstar, Polar Boy, and Wildfire on a secret mission to the 20th century as the Legion Espionage Squad. Monel and Shadow Lass go to Oa to recover Ron Vidar's body. Meanwhile, Superman leads the rest of the Legionnaires into battle against the Legion of Supervillains. White Witch uses the Crystal Ball to bring two Legions from other worlds, a Legion lost and another crucial to the situation. They contact every member, but the Crystal Ball explodes, leaving no way to send either Legion home. Brainiac 5 gathers the parallel Legionnaires, explaining they've met before. The third Brainiac 5 questions why they should listen to an adult. The second Brainiac 5 tells him to show respect, and they argue while the original Brainiac 5 tries to organize the groups. 
Sunboy witnesses the fiery battle from his apartment, but remains immersed in self-pity, drowning his sorrows in alcohol. Meanwhile, Superboy Prime clashes with Superman, and the Legion of Superheroes finds themselves on the losing side. Prime declares his intention to etch a massive S onto the Earth itself, claiming it as his symbol now. Monel and Shadow Lass reach Oa, finding the remnants of the central power battery. A lone figure, revealed as Sodom Yacht, questions who disturbs the resting site of the Green Lantern Corps. It turns out Sodom Yacht has survived into the 30th century as the last of the Guardians of the Universe.